Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Today, again, we're gonna talk about service account and service account keys, and I'll show you how to create short-lived service account keys with the use of uh, s uh, standard Google tools, but also with the custom script, just to simplify some of the steps. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Anto, this is Auto DevOps, a YouTube channel about cloud, software engineering, and computer stuff in general. See you after the intro. So as I mentioned in previous videos, service account keys generated using gcloud commands or from the Google console uh, have an expiry date that is far in the future, so we can say that they never expire. And I also in uh, this video here or here, I discuss some of the risks of service account keys. And today we're gonna see how to mitigate those risks. There is a page on uh, Google uh, documentation that is called best practices for managing service account keys. And in the list of the best practices, one of them is use uploaded keys to let keys expire automatically. So how does it work? So before we start, I'm gonna try to maximize the, the, the font on the screen as much as possible, but don't forget to maximize the resolution so you should be able to read everything clearly on a desktop PC. How can we make the service account key expire? Instead of using gcloud or google cloud console to download the key, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the opposite. We generate the keys locally and then we upload the public key to google cloud. When we generate the keys, what we can do, we can specify uh, the expiry date and the expiry date can be specified using a command like uh, OpenSSL. So in this example here, I create a key wrapped in a X509 certificate that expires in uh, one day when we run this command we get two outputs one is the private key and the other one is the public key so what we can do now we can upload this key using the gcloud command or simply the console and when we upload we can uh, look at the expiry date in uh, in the console we can see that now we have a key that is going to expire so this is one way to create the keys in the documentation, there is a description on how to upload the public key, but there is nothing about the private key. So here I'm gonna show you how to create a JSON file containing the private key so we can use this key in the same way we use the key generated using the gcloud command or the cloud console. What you need to do is to use some sort of JSON template and you can find everything in the description with the link to the scripts and how to do this. And what you need to do, you need to find the key ID that has been generated on the Google Cloud Console and then paste your private key and then put client ID and few other bits and pieces here and there like the name of the service account that you want like client email and the client x509 cert URL field as well needs to be changed. So once you do this, uh, you can use this JSON file in the same way you use JSON uh, service account keys. So this approach works, but I have two problems with this. One is not super convenient because you need to have this template and then copy and paste from the console or from a, another gcloud command. And the other thing is that the, you cannot specify a service account that expires in minutes. What if we want to have a key that expires under a day? There are some tricks online to, by changing the system date, but to be honest, I think it's gonna be even less convenient in case you want to do something like that. So what I did, I created a small Golang application that does just this. So it creates uh, public and private keys um, and also does the upload into Google Cloud. So with this tool, you can easily generate a keeper that has a validity and you can specify the validity in minutes. So this is um, how it works. You have essentially two commands. Uh, one is the create command, the other one is the generate command. The generate command generates a key pair in pen format, so you have the private and public key, and you can upload them manually. So not a big difference compared to OpenSSL, the only difference is that you can specify the expiry time in minutes. And the other command is create, that behaves similarly to the gcloud service account keys create, so where you essentially specify what you want to create, and that creates your service account, with the expiry date and returns a JSON key for you. 
The link to the repo is in the description. Feel free to add features uh, by contributing to it and uh, let me know what you think down in the comment. So this was a short video to describe the how to mitigate the risk of service account keys. Don't forget, obviously, it's always better to not use any service account key. And in a previous video, I showed you how to do that with Workload Identity Federation, which is the recommended way from Google. So if you want, you can have a look at this video here to see how to use Workload Identity Federation in combination with GitHub Action or IDC. And in that video, I show you how to authorize GitHub workflows without using any service account key. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next week.